time for the pelvic girdle. Let's attach some lower limbs, shall we? First, you need to know that this picture right here is a picture of, yes, indeed, a pelvis. Duh. But guess what this is? This is an os, oops, an os coxy. What? Really? The os coxy is a single um, bone. The pelvis is two os coxy, one, two, plus the sacrum, we already know that one, plus the coccyx. So the pelvis is actually four bones, four bones that I can actually pull apart and look at. <laughs> it's going to get a little complicated in just a second. The os coxy is its own fused bone. However, perhaps I should reword how we deal with this because the os coxy is actually made up of three bones. Really? True story. The os coxy is made up of the ilium, I L, oh, I almost made it knee, I L I U M because I like my pelvis. I do not eat, never mind. <laughs> We're not going there. The ili as opposed to the ilium in the intestines, which is spelled with E because you eat things to go into your ilium. That's why I said what I said and then I stopped myself because I just don't even want to think about what I was going to say. There's another part. It's the pubis. This is a bone. This is another piece of bone. And then there's the best part, the ischium. And the ischium is in the back, I-S-C-H-I-U-M. Really? The ischium has these big old tuberosities called what? Ischial tuberosities, and you sit on them. So go ahead and just like wiggle around in your chair right now, and you can actually feel your ischial tuberosities hitting the chair. And that is your ischium. I shit upon my ischium, except you sit upon your ischium. Don't shit on it. I shouldn't say that on video. Sorry about that. We're trying to keep these G-rated. Now the ilium is the big old, like that's what you can actually feel on your sides. You can feel how high up the ilium goes. And the pubis is right at the front. You can palpate your pubis as well. The pubis, this, the pubic symphysis, I just have to throw that in there. Because what is this pubic symphysis made out of? What is that little pad of whatever? Huh? Fibrocartilage. Nice. All three parts of one oscoxy, the ileum, the ischium, and the pubis, this is really cool. They join in a structure called the acetabulum. The acetabulum is an, a circular indentation where the femur articulates with one oscoxy. So all three of my bones, my ilium, my pubis, and my ischium, all three of them articulate, they all attach, they fuse in the acetabulum itself. So look, I'm just going to do this just for the fun of it. There goes that. Here comes the little piece of pubis, and here comes my little piece of ilium. And they all articulate in that spot. Now, of course, some people have to know the exact line. Guess what? You don't. If I want you to tell me it's the ilium, I'm going to throw the tape way up high on that wing of my oscoxy. If I want to know that it's the ischium, I'm going to be down here all the way down where you're sitting on your ischial tuberosity. And if I want the pubis, I'm going right there where you can actually see the pubic symphysis, where the two oscoxy connect to each other. Um, the whole thing's a pelvis. A pelvic girdle. What's a pelvic girdle? The pelvic girdle, the girdle. Ready? Throw your two oscoxy together and get rid of the sacrum and the coccyx, and that's the pelvic girdle. So the pelvic girdle is just two pieces, two oscoxy. 
that's what that says, to oscoxy, which is, that makes sense. Um, we got the acetabulum. Okay, the obturator foramen, foramen hole. That's the obturator foramen. Acetabulum, obturator foramen. Now, we have some parts that we need to identify. First of all, you have the anterior, superior, anterior, superior, iliac spine. It's part of the ilium, and you can feel it. If I told you to hit the floor and, like, fall on your face on the floor, your anterior, superior, iliac spines would hit the floor, and it hurts. There is an inferior, anterior, inferior iliac spine, but we don't have to know that one. The iliac fossa is this medial surface in my, like, you can imagine that this is toward, like the wing is facing toward the medial aspect, and this is the iliac fossa. Uh, the iliac crest is easy. That's what you can palpate. You can feel your iliac crest all the way around. And the greater sciatic notch is, you can see it right here. It's toward the posterior aspect, and you can get a really nice view of it here. I'll tell you right now, pelvis, pelvis, you got to come in and play with a pelvis. I can show you all this stuff, but I'm telling you right now, you got to play with the pelvis. I think we have all the parts that we have to know, but really, come to lab. We will highly recommend open lab before um, the bone lab. All right. It's time to do the inferior limb.